Alright, hey everybody, this is Hans, the Ramen Raider, with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. The show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today, even though it's not today, on your day, but on my day, it's the day that I posted my um, 3,000th instant noodle review published. <coughs> Pretty happy about that. And uh, unpublished, I've done, this one I'm doing today will be number 3,079. So, excuse me. So what do I have today? Well, I've got something from Taiwan. This is a spicy Szechuan vinegar noodle by Fu Chang. So, yeah, and I've got some special sauce that they sent as well. This stuff. I think we might try with it. So here is, in that bag, you get four of these. And I figure let's get to it. This one will take a couple extra minutes to cook compared to normal. In total, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to remember and think. Gotta remember to think. So here's the noodle block. These are definitely very broad Taiwanese dry noodle. I'm drop that in. I'm gonna set the timer for a minute. One. One. Got a little bit of extra here, so ah, we don't need the extra. And then it also comes with two sachets which we don't deal with until the very end. Those being a... Uh, crime any. Um, those being... There we go. Pardon my slowness. A seasoning liquid sauce if you were to think of it as a sauce and a seasoned oil so let's see there we go with our minutes I thought I had a fork oh no where's my fork there it is and then it said after one minute you're supposed to loosen the noodles here you go dude who likes to see everything I am now going to show you gently separating the noodles as so. It said not to like be nuts with it. So I figure I will do everything to not be nuts. There we go. Then it says to do an additional five to six minutes. To me that sounds like five and a half minutes. And since it's already been that, I'm going to start it at five more. I'm going to turn this down a little bit because, as you can see, it's getting very frothy over here. Calm your froth. <sighs> I've spoken. So, yeah, you might be wondering, what's it like to have tried 3,000 different instant noodles? It's weird. Actually, when you think about it, right around recently, I actually hit, uh, let's see, since the resurgence of the website in 2010, like I started the website in 2002 and then lapsed for quite a few years <coughs> and then had the resurgence in 2010 in June. So since then... I've done probably about 3,010 reviews, somewhere around there, give or take 5 or 10, yeah. probably give about 10, but yeah, 3,000 reviews in 8 years, how do you do it? Well, I can't tell you, but I am, you know, I'm pretty stoked and really lucky to have the people around me that I do that 
have nice things to say and are really nice and all that good stuff. So anyway, today it's Taiwanese noodles, Taiwanese dry noodles. A lot of the time these are sun-dried. A lot of the times these are air-dried in an industrial setting with big, big fans, uh, sometimes hot rooms that also have fans going. And they just basically get dried out. There's no frying involved. Um, these aren't the kind of noodles that you could like crunch up in a bag and eat. Mm -mm. That'd be like doing the same thing with spaghetti. So if you follow my lead, yeah, you're not going to want to do that. What you doing, Miles? Today's Miles' days off. One of his days off. Hey, Miles, come here. You want to see? Come and see. Busy. Busy not touching the TV because I hear him playing with Legos, so that I am definitely happy with. Yep, jabba, jabba, jabba. He's enjoying school quite a bit. But yeah. Today is the naughty day uh, as far as my new diet goes. If you've been watching my last few episodes, I'm on a new dietary thing and it's been going really good i don't know what the heck i'm gonna have for dinner <laughs> there's not gonna be a lot of wiggle room for that but wednesdays are gonna be the day where i actually eat uh when i do a spicy noodle video and i figure hey that works because i like doing them with him because he kind of steals the show a little bit and people are always like hey it's miles you know they don't care what i'm doing but and that's fine I'm totally down with that. And we've got a whopping minute and a half left. Um, news of today. Uh, let's see. What happened today? Packages were delivered to the Obama residence, the Clinton residence, and CNN containing suspicious, possibly explosive, explosive items and powder in them. It, uh, it's kind of kooky. I don't know. Don't do that. <laughs> That's not cool. You know, don't don't send people packages that can blow up. That's jacked up. No, no. But you know, not a shocker. So curious. By the time this comes out, I'm guessing what November seventeenth, eighteenth. If this will even be even a glimmer in the minds of anybody anymore. The news cycle moves so fast. Um, the whole Kavanaugh thing. It's like, oh yeah, Kavanaugh. I remember hearing that name once in a while. Yeah, that's all gone. Uh, they mention him every once in a while and the whole thing surrounding it, but... You no. Know. Too much weird stuff happening every day, and a lot of it is news that really nobody cares about, but there's certain things that just kind of get left alone, and I think they should kind of be given a little bit more. Oh, speaking of news, the noodles are done, and I've done 3,000 reviews. Now that is news. News you can use from the Ramen Raider. The weather's getting colder as because the months are getting later in the year. Right now it's uh, sometime and the temperature is under boiling and above Kelvin zero. And we're draining the noodles, yes. That'd be kind of funny, a completely non-committal news agency. Well, it might rain today, or it might not. We'll let you know at 11. I think that'd be cool. Cause not, no, nobody would be argumentative. Everybody would just be like, yeah, news, man. It's all right. Something will happen. Nobody will really complain about it. Nobody will say, oh, you, 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 you screwed up, buddy. I'll just be like... Well, that was the news. It wasn't right, but it wasn't wrong. Nothing really, nothing really to see here, folks. Kind of 
Kind of like elections. There was a winner and there was a loser. But it's possible there will be a runoff. So nobody knows. I will say right now, we are in the thick uh, of the the, um, what do you call them? Political TV commercials with all the slamming and stuff. And it's pretty, pretty juicy. You've got people going again. So, who we got? Um, I actually watched something on C-SPAN. I thought it was just on local news, but it was actually C-SPAN, a debate between Maria Cantwell and Susan Hutchison. Susan Hutchison, I was like, didn't she just used to do the news? And then it showed her, I was like, yeah, she used to do the news. That's kind of surprising, because she's running very, uh, Republican, and it's like, isn't that the whole fake news thing? So, but she's okay. I don't know. And then, like, she said something about, well, we all know here in the state of Washington that illegal immigration is the most important topic. Okay, we do. She didn't do all great, all that great in that debate. She was trying, though. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would have liked to see Cantwell do a lot better. There were a couple things just like, I want to try this out. That's splendid. It's got a spicy. I'm dropping everything. You know what that means, folks. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Another four. Oh, yeah. So I've got another thing that came actually with these noodles. Is this. So the noodles are stirred with their sauce and all that. Then I got this. And they gave me a bunch of them. And this one looked particularly tasty. Okay, I've committed. I've taken a little frou-frou off the top. This is Fuchung minced pork sauce with scallion. That sounds like really good. When I was looking up the nutrition facts, you can actually scan it with my fitness pal, and it showed up. I was like, wow, okay. This whole container says it's three portions. So, I think I'm going to be good. Mm. Definitely smells like there's pork going on. Um, I'm going to use this. Look at that. That's a special spoon. Well, I want to taste this stuff before I go any further because I don't want to. Okay. I'm sold. All right. I am liking that. So, bowl also sent by the nice folks at Fu Chang or Chung. Fu Chang. Fu Chang is not a company that probably would send me noodles. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt you back up for a second. It'll be okay. I'm just gonna dump these in. Yeah, Fu Fu Chang. They probably wouldn't mind if I just jumped off a cliff. They were bottom ten for a while. So. Um, there's that, and we got an egg. Like I said, this is gonna like really eat into my. My epic small micro meal time for dinner, but that's okay. I'm doing this for you. We have an egg. Just 
Release the egg. Release the egg! You see, like, loud barking. <laughs> Release the egg. Hmm. I have gotten much better with doing these eggs, I swear. I'm really happy about that. That looks like a nicely soft boiled. Well, yes, it's been in the fridge. Doesn't look as pretty as when it's right right there, right done, but God, you guys are so picky. There's some MBS mung bean sprouts. Oh, uh, and I think I'll put on some of this right now. This is the minced pork sauce with scallion. I'll set it right there. That's divine. Oh yeah, I know who will like that. I certainly do. I believe my wife will get the rest of that. And some scallion right on top. And I think that looks absolutely fantastic. And you do too. You've helped out with that, and I appreciate that. Right, Miles? Right? All right. Wow, look at that. That looks ultra red. <laughs> yeah. That's a spicy noodle mukbang to be sure. Probably not the most spiciest noodle mukbang ever, but hey, I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm I'm all about it. So, anyways, even though this is like past news for you guys, I want to thank you all for following the site, watching my videos, commenting, all that nice stuff because without you, this would be kind of pointless, you know. And so, yeah, thank you very much. And, yeah. So if you like this video, please click like. If you didn't, that's okay. And there's some more videos for you to watch. Hopefully they're popping up right there. If they're not, I did something wrong and I sorely apologize. And, yeah. Well, hey, this has been Hans the Ramen Reader wishing you enjoyment of your noodles every day. And I'll be here for the next 3,000 as well. Have a good one. Bye.